Here's VML 2012 Pinot Noir limited release Russian River Valley. So VML, I guess, uh, is short for Virginia Marie Lambrix or Lambre, depending on how you want to pronounce that. And uh, it's got this winery in the Russian River Valley where it focuses primarily on Pinot Noir and Chardonnay, which are really the two great grape varietals from Russian River Valley. Um, they do a number of different wines. They have some estate vineyards. This wine, this uh, limited release, is, uh, uses grapes sourced partially from one of their estate vineyards and partially from another vineyard in the Green Valley section of Russian River Valley. So the cooler section. Um, they do uh, fermentation in um, open top stainless steel, they punch down, hand punch downs, and then they uh, drain off into 40% um, new French oak where it aged for nine months. Um, it's a very unique package and label. Um, looks like it might suggest something about um, uh, biodynamics or uh, it talks about the equinox, but uh, <laughs> anyway. It really kind of draws you in, but enough about the label. What's more important is what's in the bottle. <laughs> the nose is <laughs> really drawing me in. Really intense black cherry. Nice sort of um, toasted nuts, like pecans. A little bit of vanilla. Strawberry. It's a really great Pinot nose. A little more on the toasty side than the fruity side. So, on the palate, it's a big wine. Nice structure to this wine. Um, very intense core. Good, good fruit in that core. Black cherry, raspberry, blackberry, strawberry. Mm. And you get the, those really nice toasted notes. Uh, toasted pecans, vanilla, you know, that, that sort of um, little hint of wood smoke. Really gives it complexity. Um, this is a wine that's going to uh, mature a bit, really start to unwind and show additional layers, uh, even with, you know, four to six months in the bottle. Could continue to age and develop over a year, two years, three years, who knows. But um, obviously really something good going on here. Happy drinking.